Hi, dear students. In this lecture, we will discuss about polar coordinates. So far, uh, you have learned the system of coordinates which is based on the two axes which are perpendicular to each other. However, in the life, there are many problems where will be very convenient if we introduce the new coordinate system based on the angular direction and it is distance from the fixed point. In this lecture, we will discuss a new kind of coordinate system that is based on this idea. Polar coordinate systems. Polar coordinate system in a plane consists of a fixed point O called the pole or origin and the ray emanating from the pole called the polar axis. In this picture you can see the point O which is origin or it is called pole and the polar axis which is in the same direction with the x-axis. If the P is the point in the polar axis, it will be measured by two numbers. First number is R, distance from the point to the pole, and the tether, the angle between OP line and the polar axis. The number R is called the radial coordinate of the P and the number theta is the angular coordinate or polar angle of P. For example, if we consider the following points 6 and pi over 4, 5 2 pi by 3, 3 5 pi by 4 and 4 11 pi by 6. You can get the following pictures. In the first picture, for example, 6 pi over 4, first we need to find pi over 4 angle and in this direction we need to count 6 units and the plot a 6 in this line, which will give us polar coordinate of the point 6 pi over 4. The other points are plotted according to this rule. The case of the origin of the point at the origin. If P is the pole, then R equals to zero, but there is no clearly defined polar angle. We will agree that an arbitrary angle can be used in this case. That's zero theta are polar coordinates of the pole for all choices of theta. Example, the polar coordinates of a point are not unique. For example, the polar coordinates 1, 7 pi by 4, 1, negative pi by 4, and 1, 15 pi by 4, all represent the same point. How to define negative r? The terminal side of the angle theta plus pi is the extension of the terminal side of theta, so we define negative radial coordinates by agreeing that negative r theta and r theta plus pi are polar coordinates of the same point. So that means we need to Construct r theta and rotate it to the angle pi in order to get negative r theta. For example, in this example, you can see how we con construct negative 4 pi over 6. First, we construct uh, 4 pi over 6. After that, we rotate this point to the pi angle in order to get p point with the components negative 4 and pi over 6. Relationship between polar and rectangular coordinates. 